class 8 and 9 valency what is the valency of an element we have already learnt about valence shell and valence electron the electrons in the outermost shell of an atom that is the valence electrons in the valence shell differs for different elements when the atoms combine to form a molecule they combine in fixed proportion because each element's atom has different combining capacity for example one oxygen atom combines with two hydrogen atoms to form water h2o but one nitrogen atom combines with three hydrogen atoms to form ammonia nh3 this combining capacity of the atoms of an element is called the valency of the element let us see the role of the valence electrons in chemical reactions valence electrons we know that an atom consists of proton and neutrons in the nucleus of the atom and the electrons revolve around the nucleus in circular path or orbit or shell the atom may have many shells or orbits and each orbit will have electrons revolving about them the electrons in the outermost shell of an atom are called the valence electrons these valence electrons participate in chemical reaction the chemical property of elements also depend on the valence electrons valency may also be as defined as the number of valence electrons lost gained or shared by an atom in a chemical reaction to become chemically inert how does an atom become chemically inert let us see electronic configuration the arrangement of electrons in the different orbits of an atom is called its electronic configuration when the number of electrons in the outermost shell of the atom that is valence electrons is 2 it is called as duplet configuration and if the valence electrons are 8 it is called as octet configuration if the electronic configuration is duplet or octet then the atom will be stable that is it will not react chemically with any other atom so they are called chemically inert atoms example valence electrons in helium is true that is duplet configuration so helium is inert and it will not react easily with other elements similarly the valence electrons in neon is 8 that is octet configuration so neon remains inert an atom will either gain or lose electrons to attain stable electronic configuration atoms of all metals will have 1 to 3 valence electrons so they tend to attain stable electronic configuration by losing their electrons in a chemical reaction on losing their electrons they become positively charged ions or cations example valence electron of sodium is 1 magnesium is 2 calcium is 2 and aluminum is 3 so sodium loses its one valence electron and becomes sodium plus ion magnesium and calcium lose their two valence electrons and become calcium 2 plus and magnesium 2 plus ions Aluminium loses its three valence electrons and becomes aluminium three plus ion. All non-metals have three to seven valence electrons. They gain few more electrons to attain stable electronic configuration and become negatively charged ions or anions. Example: Sulfur atom has six valence electrons. It gains two electrons. and forms stable octet configuration so it becomes a negatively charged ion s2 minus similarly 
chlorine atom has seven valence electrons. So it gains one electron and becomes stable Cl minus ion. Let us next see how the valency of elements are expressed. Valency with respect to atoms. Valency of an atom is found with respect to other atoms like hydrogen, chlorine and oxygen. Valency with respect to hydrogen. The valence electron in hydrogen atom is 1. It loses this one electron during chemical combination. So its valency is taken as 1. Valency of hydrogen is taken as a standard to express the valencies of other elements. Example, in water H2O, oxygen combines with 2 hydrogen, so its valency is 2. In HCl, chlorine combines with 1 hydrogen atom, so its valency is 1. In CH4, methane, carbon combines with 4 hydrogen atom, so its valency is 4. Thus, valency of an element can be defined as the number of hydrogen atoms with which its one atom combines. For example, valency of nitrogen in ammonia NH3 is 3. The valency of elements are termed as monovalent, divalent and trivalent according to the number of hydrogen atoms with which one atom of the element combines. For example, monovalent elements, elements having valency 1, example H2Na, that is hydrogen and sodium. Divalent, elements having a valency of 2, example oxygen, O2 and beryllium. Trivalent, elements having a valency of 3, example nitrogen, N2, and aluminium Al. Since some elements do not combine with hydrogen, their valency is defined in terms of other elements like chlorine or oxygen. Valency with respect to chlorine. Valency of chlorine is also 1. So valency of elements which do not combine with hydrogen but combines with chlorine are found with respect to chlorine. For example, one sodium atom combines with one chlorine atom. So, valency of sodium is 1. One magnesium atom combines with two chlorine atom. So, its valency is 2. For example, magnesium chloride MgCl2. Valency with respect to oxygen. Valency can be defined as double the number of oxygen atom with which one atom of the element combines. For example, one magnesium atom combines with one atom of oxygen to form MgO. So, valency of magnesium is equal to 2 into number of high oxygen atoms. That is equal to 2 into 1 equal to 2. Similarly, two chromium atoms combine with three oxygen atoms to form Cr2O3, chromium oxide. That is, one chromium combines with 3 by 2 atom of oxygen. So, valency of chromium is equal to 2 into 3 by 2. That is equal to 3 atoms of oxygen. So, the valency is 3. Variable valency. Atoms of some elements combine with atoms of other elements to form more than one compound. Such atoms have more than one valency. Example, cuprous oxide Cu2O, cupric oxide CuO. In Cu2O, valency of copper is 2 into half that is equal to 1. In CuO, valency of copper is 2 into 1 that is equal to 2. Other metals with variable valencies are iron Fe2 plus ferrous or iron 2, Fe3 plus ferric or iron 3. Mercury 
Hg plus mercurous or mercury 1. Hg 2 plus that is mercuric or mercury 2. Tin Sn2 plus stannous or tin 2. Sn4 plus stannic or tin 4. Next let us see the different valent ions. Different valent ions. Ions also have valency. They are monovalent ions, divalent, trivalent and tetravalent ions. Let us see some examples. Monovalent ions. Example, NH4 plus ammonium ion, Cl minus chloride ion, NO3 minus nitrate ion, OH minus hydroxyl ion, Na plus sodium ion. Divalent ions. Examples are sulfate ion SO4 2 minus carbonate ion CO3 2 minus oxide ion O2 minus sulfide ion S2 minus magnesium ion Mg2 plus calcium ion Ca2 plus. Examples for trivalent ions are phosphate PO4 3 minus Aluminium 3 plus ion and example for tetravalent ion is SN4 plus that is tin ion. Hope you have understood clearly about the combining capacity of the atoms of the elements which is called as the valency of the element. Let us learn more in our next video. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, subscribe and click the bell icon.